Okay, let's get started with the nervous system. So start from the outside, your outside physical stimulus. Go to your eyes, and after your eyes, the signal will be transferred into the neuronal signal. That's your sensory input. It will go to your integrating center in your brain, and it will be processed. And eventually, you decide to do something in the motor output, and until you go to the skeletal muscle. From here to here, all this belong to the nervous system. So the nervous system is a big topic. Your nervous system can be divided into the central and peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system includes your brain, your spinal cord. Your peripheral nervous system including uh, the, include the neurons, the nerves and the ganglia. Ganglia is a cluster of, of neuron cells, we call them ganglia. And nerves are the bundles of axons combined together. So this slide shows you, you have the nervous system can be divided into the sensory input, sensory system, and from your five senses from the outside and also your visceral sense, the, fr the one from the inside the body become the sensory input, go to your central nervous system and you also have the motor output part motor output part is the motor neuron control your skeletal muscle and also control your uh, autonomic, autonomic nervous system control your visceral organ and your endocrine gland and this similar slides show you similar information your central nervous system including the brain the spinal cord your peripheral nervous system you have the sensory visions from your body called visceral sense from the outside and body's uh, five senses somatic sensory your motor division you have the one control your inner body called the visceral motor and uh, control your skeletal muscle called somatic motor the cells in your in your brain called neurons they are able to generate electrical signal and you also have neural glia also called glia cells and they are the supporting cells you actually have 10 times more glia than neurons neurons have very unique structure they have cell cell body they also have this structure like a tree called the dendrites. The dendrites is the input part. So other neurons will come to this neuron from the neural network and the input part connect to the dendrite. And when this neuron needs to send the output, it will go through this called the axon here lock and their axon extending out. This axon can be very long. When we talk about the skeletal muscle and from your spinal cord, this axon go to control your skeletal muscle. This can be one meter long. And the axon terminal will touch the target cells. Usually it touch the dendrite part of other neuron. But last time when we talk about the skeletal muscle, this will motor neuron actually touch your skeletal muscle. And this axon, it travel for long distance. So for this, especially for the axon travel for super long distance, they have the structure called myelin. So we call this myelinated neuron. And this myelin will speed up the signal transduction. It's made of one of the glia cells. And the neuron can be divided into uh, different regions by their function. Like uh, this part called the receptive segment. They receive the input from the other neuron. And this part is the initiation segment. This is actually the axon here lock. That's where the action potential electrical signal is generated. It will go through this whole conductive segment and this is where the uh, action potential keep going through the whole axon. And that's the transmissive segment. So that's the area they touch other neuron or touch skeletal muscle. And they will release neurotransmitter. And neurons and neurons they form the neural network and the connecting part called the synapse so this neuron we call the presynaptic neuron and this one called the postsynaptic neuron 
and this neuron and this neuron they form the synapse connection called the synapse so synapse is the area the neurotransmitter is released and neurons can be put into different categories based on the structure most neurons you find in the brain multipolar they have a lot of dendra in one exome sometimes you find this kind of neuron called bipolar neuron Bipolar neuron is they have one dendrite, one input, goes through the cell body and one output, one exon. You will find this in retina. In the retina, you have the bipolar cell, and this belongs to the bipolar neuron. Sometimes the cell body shine away like this one. You push the body away. We call this unipolar neuron. You find this in your spinal cord. The sensory input is one input directly become the output. So this is unipolar. And this is a very unique one. We don't have too many. And it has all the dendrites with no input. We, we don't know much about the function of this one. And most books, they say three kinds of neuron is these three. So multipolar, bipolar, unipolar. And neurons can be put into different categories based on their function. Like we have the sensory neuron, motor neuron, and interneuron. Sensory neuron, their function is pick up the signal from the outside and send them to the inside, from the peripheral, send to the center. Like this is the uh, sensory neuron from your skin. And interneuron is where you stay in your central nervous system, like in your spinal cord, in your brain. And the motor neuron is the one sent out. It will go uh, to control your skeletal muscle. And this slides tell you you have neuroglia. You have different kind of neuroglia. And you actually have 10 times more of them than neuron. You have 100 billion of neurons. You have 10 times more neuroglia. And they have different functions. So neuroglia are also called glia cells. If you think the neurons are the comeback unit, and those neuroglia are the supportive unit, and they all have different functions. Like this tube, uh, you found them in the peripheral nervous system. We call them satellite cells and uh, neurolemocyte, also called Schwann cell. So satellite cells is in the peripheral nervous system in the in the ganglia. They support the ganglia structure. Neurolemocyte, also called Schwann cell, its function is create a myelin in the peripheral nervous system. And let's go back to the previous slides. I, I skipped these slides. So in the central nervous system, you have four different kinds of glia cells, like astrocyte. The astrocyte, its function is cover the capillary, so that's the blood vessel. It provides an extra layer of protection, make the capillary less leaky. So its function is create a blood-brain barrier. Sometimes you read, you see the BBB, blood-brain barrier, and it's created by the astrocyte. Because of astrocyte, a lot of big molecules actually could not go out of the blood vessel and go to the brain. So in a pharmaceutical company, if they de design a treatment to treat brain tumor, to treat uh, brain disease, they, they're going to ask, could this molecule come across blood-brain barrier? And it's created by the astrocyte. The second one called epidermal cell. Epidermal cell's function is in the ventricle, that's the empty space in the brain, and they produce cerebrospinal fluid. It's a liquid covered the ventricle, also covered the outside of the brain. The, the microglia, this one is the, 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 the police travel in your brain, kill the pathogens. Let's look at this one called oligodendrocyte. Oligodendrocyte is function to create the myelin. So in the central nervous system, the myelin is created by the oligodendrocyte. And there's a disease, autoimmune disease. Your immune system attacks oligodendrocyte. And once you damage it, the signal won't be able to go out because you damage the myelin and that's multiple sclerosis. So the oligodendrocyte create the myelin and the unmyelinated, unmyelinated node, we call the node of Ranvier. 
and this is the myelin of Schwann cells. It creates the bigger myelin in the peripheral nervous system. So that's the uh, in the central nervous system, myelin is created by the oligodendrocyte, and in the peripheral nervous system, it's created by the Schwann cell, also called neural lymphocyte. So that's the myelin structure. And in the peripheral nervous system, those axons after the myelin, they bundle them together. And that's the nerve. So nerves are big bundles of axon. In the peripheral nervous system, those bundles of axons, we call them nerve. But we also have those travel in the central nervous system. And in the central nervous system, we don't call them nerve, we call them tracks. And when you have a cluster of neurons in the central nervous system, we call the nucleus. Plural is nuclei. In the peripheral nervous system, we call them ganglia. And your central nervous system is, called, is uh, organized like the gray area and the white area. So the gray area is called the gray matter. So in the spinal cord, the central is gray. In the brain, the update, the, the cortex part, the outside part is gray. And the gray area is where the cell body is located. In the spinal cord, the outside is white. In the brain, the inside is white. So this white structure we call the white matter. They are white because they are myelinated axon. Okay, that's it.